Hey guys, it's Malvo here once again, and after finishing the 50 IQ Volley Fire Range Attack Totem Barrage uh, Crimson Storm Bow Bleed build, I do have a bunch of things to share with you about the character and the various tests that I've done throughout this character. So it did end up killing three or four Uber Elders, doing some of my deepest delves, which is around depth 400, and a bunch of tier 16 Guardians and tier 16. Um, maps and all of that as well as betrayals syndicates all of that ended up being actually surprisingly decent for a pretty funky out there type of bow and ranged character volley fire barrage is by no means anywhere near as terrible as i was um, kind of anticipating it might be and with the proper amount of uh, projectiles volley fires and chain it does clear fairly well fairly respectably and it has a very good um, sort of mix of both clear as well as single target so it actually clears decently well, though definitely not the best compared to some of the other skills, like Tornado Shot was the one I tried that had by far the best clear. It has a good mix of the two uh, in that it is sort of your best single target, I'd say, out of all the skills I tried, but still having a decent clear as well. And it is quite a lot of fun shooting a lot of arrows, uh, redecorating rooms with so many arrows stuck in the walls, and as well as that, knocking a lot of enemies back can be pretty Pretty fun too. Paired with the hemophilia gloves, the bleed explosions make it a fairly satisfying build to play. I also did test the build without any hemophilia gloves. Uh, it still works completely fine. You don't have bleed explosions that way. Uh, they don't add too much to clear, but the satisfaction of hearing the bleed explosions really is worth wearing the hemophilias. And you can see in this depth 400 or so uh, little vile city that the life gain on hit provided through barrage volley fire and all of the um, projectiles I have is pretty insane sustain so if I'm actually attacking which most of the time I am uh, I can get back to full life almost immediately uh, through all of these projectiles and that's basically the biggest defense of the character because we have a fair amount of life something like 6.3k without anything that's really chilling slowing freezing that sort of stuff besides just the maim effect which you can see every now and again monsters kind of slowly running towards you and vile rain of arrows uh, you don't really have any of that so you just take a few hits every now and again and then recover them almost immediately but a lot of the time you won't be taking hits uh, unless you're truly overwhelmed in situations like this because the knockback is pretty potent in keeping things away from you so this is the growth call version like i said in the previous video it's really not optimal i don't particularly recommend doing the growth call version uh, if you sub in just a regular chest uh, with fossil crafting or even a variety of other chests you can do a law weave a belly of the beast whatever the fuck you want um, you'll probably have uh, better DPS while maintaining a similar amount of life regardless. So growth calls is kind of just a meme that I was trying to make work and it's not particularly effective but obviously it can still work. Uh, that's just kind of the state of the game at the moment where you can shove whatever the hell you want suboptimally in certain builds and still have some success. Since the bow itself is so strong we can have a few looser gear choices. So uh, Crimson Storm definitely a bow I could recommend building around. You can see that the single target with barrage is pretty damn respectable if you have the opportunity to drop a couple of vile rain of arrows as well then you should have uh, even better single target and then you can see that the sustain coming in from the barrage uh, really lets you face tank quite handily against just about every piece of content out there I did um, end up killing every one of these guardians every one of the uber elders deathless and it was pretty smooth gameplay not the biggest DPS in the world but like I said it was actually fairly tanky with the life pool and then the life recovery system that we had so I did a lot more tanking on this character than quite a lot of my other ones uh, simply because I could afford to and the single target yeah it's not the best but it definitely gets you uh, pretty fast through most of this content and surprisingly I could do the uber elders pretty uh, reliably uh, because you can phase the fights fairly quickly. You can um, also run around with your Mirage Archer, let him do a lot of the heavy lifting. And overall, Barrage still is in a pretty decent place, even after the few nerfs that it went through. Now, past that, I did try out Tornado Shot, as you can see here. This is with 
essentially the exact same setup, just swapping in Tornado Shot and uh, GMP into my main setup so that you drop a barrage, chain, whatever else you need to, to just activate Tornado Shot and GMP. So I have something like eight or nine arrows firing off here, and you can see that the clear should be a lot better. When I went into this setup, and then um, a little bit later, I'll show you that I also bought a bar um, Tornado Shot helmet enchant. Once you're doing this setup, I actually felt extremely comfortable at these 400 depth levels. It's the deepest I've delved on any of my characters, and Tornado Shot with the bleed explosions, with this level of uh, bow and damage, was just very safe and cleaning shit up immensely. Uh, the DPS for the single target, however, this is the example there, was about the same as Barrage, but that is just not that impressive because it did feel uncomfortable at times. This is a clear with the Helm Enchant, so two additional secondary proj Helm Enchant, which is insane for Tornado Shot if you are unaware. Um, whenever you're playing Tornado Shot, if you can get that Helm Enchant, I'd highly recommend it. I bought it on a Gold Rim for two exalts, and uh, I think that's kind of a steal because Gold Rim still has plenty of of, uh, resists and is a respectable enough helm considering the helm enchant will just about double your damage something stupid like that so that's with the helm enchant and i felt extremely comfortable delving so it was um tornado shot hemophilia pure fizz bleed i could definitely recommend that for overall content but the single target is really nothing too impressive as you can see with this little shaper clip it was just kind of good enough so you probably don't want to be doing too much end game content but the clear was amazing uh, past that i also tried a rain of arrows and rain of arrows was kind of in between both barrage and tornado shot for um its ability so barrage probably the best single target tornado shot easily the best clear and rain of arrows i felt was just this in between um stage for both didn't have the best clear it didn't have the best single target but it had probably a good balance between the two and once i spec out of point blank and you just spec into far shot as a dead eye it has a very ranged and very ranger type uh feel to it and it's actually one of my favorite play styles when it first came out having far shot standing at range and shooting back at range rather than always specking point blank as an archer and having to go face tank things and the perfect ex example of that is uh, for this phoenix fight where you can just run around uh, keep him at a nice safe distance at all times and just get your damage in and uh, it is a pretty reliable way of playing the game as a ranger and I still do recommend Reign of Arrows in many builds if you want to try it out though of course Scourge Arrow flat Ellie stacking is currently king as far as I'm concerned. Overall guys this character was somewhat of a success it probably isn't something I strongly recommend doing uh, because I don't know I think you can get a lot more damage out of a Crimson Storm by doing your typical Fizz to Ellie conversions stacking some flat uh, using Scourge Arrow so it's not the greatest example but if you're into something a little bit funkier and just pure fizz for a change then by all means I'd say this wasn't too bad. Uh, this will be one of or actually the first Uber Elder kill I did on this character. I forgot to put my Mirage Archer back in uh, to my main setup because I was delving without him and uh, well it's still pretty good even without Mirage Archer managed to do it just fine. So thank you very much for watching guys hope you enjoyed the build and enjoy the rest of this kill. No hemos for this phase is kind of annoying. Just won't be able to kill him that efficiently, but I don't really have to. There goes all my flask charges and shit. Okay, I got the pushover, that's good. Whoa, that lag spike nearly fucked me as I was putting down my totem.
Damn, that guy's gonna drop some ground. Nothing I can do about it. Shit, that guy dropped ground too. I'm probably due for some slaps. There's the slaps. That was a rough phase. I had to deal with a lot of shit. I'm dead. Not dead! That wasn't too bad. Deeps was very respectable. And, uh, yeah. Did it just fine. Got ourselves a jewel. Got ourselves a 86 Maybe. quiver. I don't think that matters, but fucking why not? Um, and one of whatever that is. Fucking, yeah, who cares? Big jewel. Not that big. I died to, like, I basically died to one-shots from Betrayal in the past level. From 91 to 93, I died to Betrayal one-shots and also a Call one-shot. So, I mean, I've done some pretty stupid maps and that's just what, what happened. I didn't die to any of the hard content. None of the Tier 16s, the Guardians, the Elder Guardians, Red Elder fucking uber elder i just died to straight up fucking one shots from betrayal on harder maps so yeah nice fucking game and we did successfully redecorate <laughs>